In this second example about free body diagrams, we're going to look what looks like another bike, but actually we're going to focus on the uh, suspension system, the storage system, uh, that really turns out to be just rope and pulleys. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this bike and we're going to represent it as just a body, and you don't have to draw the entire shape of the body. There's only a couple of critical things to get here in this thing, so just kind of a really crude outline of the body. What actually matters is just simply the attachment points. And so note we have a little bracket right in here on the, at the saddle, and then we also have a little bracket that's right here attached uh, to the front handlebars. And in both cases, all they do is create a suspension force that goes away at the same angle of inclination as that bracket, very much like a cable. And of course, somewhere in the bike, mythically, we have this idea of the center of mass and that our center of gravity, and that's where the weight vector is being imposed on that, that bike. Right, so that's the, the, the initial part here. Now the, the next part of this is to follow up the, the bracket to where the pulley, uh, or the bracket is located attached to the pulley. And there's a little pin there. That's how I knew that this force from the bracket was just a single force and what direction it was uh, coming from. And so we have on both front and back a single pulley. And so we'll turn these uh, bracket forces around. And so notice this is one of the applications of Newton's laws, equal opposite reactions when you create that free body diagram. And so now look when we go to uh, represent what the cable or the rope is doing through that pulley, that they come along at the same line as the cable itself, and because we're going to ignore friction in this model, those will be the exact same tensile values. And unlike some of the other examples we've had throughout the semester where these two ropes came off of the pulley at exactly the same angle, here they don't. And that would, of course, influence our equilibrium uh, values. On the front pulley, we've got a similar kind of situation. And T and T. Now, are these the same tension force? And the answer is, well, let's look at the real original situation. And so when you you go to the, the physical situation, notice that we've got two brackets that are attached to the ceiling. We've got a rope that's attached to this front back bracket, comes around this pulley down that, that is uh, attached to the bracket to the handlebars, and then that feeds up to another pulley that's associated with the uh, bracket attached to the ceiling. And then that rope, and this is all still one rope here, if we watch it all the way around, that is one single rope. And if we're in uh, ignoring friction, then the value of the force at one point in the rope has got to be the same. Uh, everywhere else the rope would be accelerating, moving somehow, and it's not. This is in static equilibrium. So yes, the answer is that all four of these t's are exactly the same value. 